what is the difference between design engineer in front end versus physical design engineers or the analog design engineers in back end as both are design engineers only well this question was asked by one of our subscriber noor tahsil ahmed so first of all noor thank you so much for asking this question it's a very good question and that's why i've decided to make a separate video on this question so that other students can also get the help so in vlsi it is broadly categorized into two main categories front end design and back end design front end design engineers are responsible for the initial stage of the integrated circuit design which includes the creation of the circuit architecture design specification and the functional design front end design engineers typically work on the rtl that is register transfer level design functional verification and logic synthesis on the other hand back end design engineers are responsible for the physical implementation of the ic design which includes the placement and routing of the design using cad tools back end design engineers works on the tasks such as floor planning power routing clock free synthesis placement and And physical verification talking about the responsibilities so for front end design engineers they have to design digital circuits designing at the register transfer level writing the rtl codes here you can write the code by using either verilog or the vhdl then synthesizing the design to generate the gate level netlist optimizing the design to improve the performance and efficiency of the design then writing and running the test benches by which you can perform the simulation and validating the design then debugging the design issues working with cross functional team so here as a front end design engineer you need to work closely with physical design verification and software team to ensure that their designs are implemented correctly and meeting all over the system requirements also so as a front end design engineer you need to stay up to date with the The latest design trends and methodologies like high level synthesis and artificial intelligence now it's time to talk about the back end design engineers those design engineers who are working in back end domain what are their responsibilities well their responsibilities mainly depending on the specific role and the company they work for but yes there are some common responsibilities to which we can discuss the first one is implementing the physical design that includes the floor planning placement and routing the second one is timing closer which ensures whether the circuit meets its timing requirements or not then the power optimization design for manufacturing that is dfm it ensures whether the design is manufacturable by performing dfm checks and also implementing the dfm solution then the design rule checking drc and layout versus schematic that is lvs verification physical verification which ensures that the layout meets the design rule and is free from errors development of eda tools so as a back end design engineers you may also have to work on developing electronic automation that is eda tools that can be used by other designers to automate the parts of the physical design process so by concluding we can say that front end design engineers work on the initial stage of the ic design including rtl design and functional verification however back end design engineers work on the physical implementation of the design including the placement and routing one more category is there which is analog design engineers they mainly work on the design and optimization of analog and mixed signal circuit and they may work in either front end or back end design so guys i hope now this doubt is clear what is the difference between the front end design engineers and the back end design engineers what are their role and responsibilities i hope it is clear to you if you find this video useful do subscribe the channel guys like the video if you have any doubt like this do let me know in the comment box if required i'll make a dedicated video on that and noor thanks again for asking this question keep supporting vlsi point we will meet in the next video